Behind me is a 1.2 millimeter flip chip GOB media resources indoor LED display. Super excited to be working with the flip chip technology. This is a flip chip board, this is an SMD board, okay? Behind me is a 1.2 millimeter 1920 by 1080 display. If that was the SMD technology, there would be roughly 40 million gold bond wires on that display. The flip chip SMD, the chip, the LED chip is actually flipped upside down and mounted directly to the circuit board, eliminating all of those gold bond wires. The display behind me, instead of 40 million gold bond wires that are all fail points, we have zero. In the LED world, that display is a relatively small display, so you could quickly get to 100 million to 200 million gold bond wires with an SMD device. The flip chip device is a more reliable product because we are eliminating all of those fail points. It's been a super exciting technology. The flip chip has been around for a long time in the lighting industry. So this is, even though this is a cutting edge technology in the display world, it is an established technology and not a risky one because they've been doing this in the lighting world. So it's been great to work with, super effective in the display world, been going gangbusters. Flip chip is the way to go and what we prefer to work with at Media Resources. Installing this is much easier because it's harder to break it quite frankly. On a fine pitch display, especially a 0.7, a 0.9, a 1.2, and even a 1.5, it can be pretty easy to break the LEDs right off of the, the edge of this display, making the installation slower and more difficult. Oftentimes, you have to send the boards back to the manufacturer to be, re be repaired, and in the middle of an installation, uh, that can be a hassle and slow you down. With this GOB coating, although it's possible to break it, is kind of difficult. So you really have to try. So upon installation, you really shouldn't have any breakage. And as you can see, I can be pretty rough on this thing and the LEDs are not popping off. Secondly, hard to see maybe, but the GOB coating gives a much better black so you get a better contrast ratio versus the typical SMD display, which a lot of times the face of the LEDs is white. So it gives a little bit of a gray appearance or a lighter appearance on the face of the board. The GOB is a nice even black across the entire board giving you a better contrast ratio. Another advantage is you can clean it. So obviously in today's day and age with people maybe a little more sensitive about germs, uh, you can just spray this with cleaner, you can spray it with water, you can spray it with Windex if you want and wipe it down with a rag without the fear of damaging the display or again, ripping the pixels off of the display. And lastly, uh, really lends itself well for a touch screen overlay the GOB technology enables you to use a touch overlay and accomplish your vision of a big touch screen very simply. The touch overlay I like to use is called Shadow Sense. It is the newest one that I've seen. No latency, works fantastic. Now with the GOB and the Shadow Sense touch overlay, a touch screen LED display is a very easy project to execute. So at Media Resources, we tried to think of everything. We probably didn't think of everything, but we tried to think of everything regarding simplification of installing LED displays. One thing we offer is white glove service where we come in and install the LED display for you. It's been very successful and a lot of integrators are taking us up on that offer. However, if you want to install it yourself, I'd like to walk through a few of the things we have done to make the installation fast and easy. Number one, the installation hardware comes with the display. So this framing here comes with the display and it literally screws right into the, the studs. Could be wood studs, could be metal studs, okay? So the framing comes with the display, you screw those into the studs, and then you mount the cabinets. The cabinets are mounted, screwed into the framing, very simple to do, and very important, we have a really cool device here. This brings all the cabinets together and helps align them in the four corners. Once that is done, the modules are mounted magnetically. You can see these little magnets here, the modules go on there, it's all front serviceable, magnetically attached, and these magnets can be twisted and that helps adjust the Z axis to make sure your modules are all lined up. Very handy. As you can see, uh, everything is front serviceable. You can get to the receive cards. There's four modules per cabinet. You can pull the modules off. You can see here the data cables. This is how the data is run uh, right through the cabinets. You can see the power is run right through the cabinets. All these holes come pre pre-drilled. Uh, we tried to think, like I said, we tried to think of everything to make the install easier for your team. And then lastly, I'd like to point out at the bottom of the display is this raceway. 
And what that does is this comes off, again, just like the modules, and gives you the ability to put power and data down at the bottom of the display, and you can put the power and data anywhere here. So if the GC wants to put the power here, because that's where the stud is, we're fine with that. It gives them a little bit of leeway in this, in this regard, and we found it to be quite successful to make your install easy. That's what we've covered. If you have any suggestions on how we can make it better, we're all ears.